Hi, this is Jeremy. Welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Disco Dingo Desktop. This is the pre-release version of Ubuntu 19.04. This has not even reached a beta status yet, so it's going to be rough around the edges a little bit. But let's take a look so we can figure out what we can expect in April. Alrighty, I have got the basic shell for the desktop and the server version built up because I'm also going to do a video on the server version. But let's get started on our desktop install. This is a pretty standard thing. I have allocated 128 megs of video memory. I've put on 3D acceleration for VirtualBox and I've given it a 30 gig virtual hard drive. So we'll get started with this and go through the install process and give you a little bit of an idea of what we've got going on so far. We're going to do the install option. And yes, that is spinning. All right, continue normal installation. We're going to install third party software as, and Wi Fi as we go through the install process. Continue. And we're going to go ahead and erase the disk because it's a virtual disk and it's blank to begin with. Continue. New York is good. I'll continue. And we are going to go with. And I'm using Ubuntu as both the username and the password because I'm going to export this as an OVA file and I will make it available in the links below. And I'll be back after we get to the end of the install. Okay, it's finally that time. We are going to restart into our new install here. And make sure our disk is out. And it's out. And here we go. Not sure what's going on with this DRM VMU host error. Failing to send a log. Hopefully that'll be fixed by the time the April release date comes around. All right, we have got booted up and we'll go ahead and log in. Oops. And we should get to our desktop here momentarily. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a terminal, control alt T and then we're going to do some updates. So sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade dash y. The double ampersand is only going to run the second command if the first one completes successfully. So and enter our password And I'll be right back after these updates have finished. It seems we got a little problem. I'll go ahead and report it this time. Okay, it wants to know if we want to restart services during upgrades without asking. We're going to go ahead and say yes to that. So it's doing cups and cron. Of course, the display manager must be restarted manually. That's fine because we're going to install the virtual box extensions. Uh, 
All right, we have reached the end of the updates with one error. We're going to do a quick restart on our system and then we'll get the VirtualBox extensions installed. And it's clearing a series of orphaned inodes. All right, we're finally back. Log into our Ubuntu. And the next thing we're going to do is get the VirtualBox extensions installed, the guest editions. So we'll insert the CD. We'll go ahead and select Run. And it will go through its process after we enter in the password. All right, press return to close the window. Got to click on that screen first. And we'll go ahead and reboot one more time. And we should get a full screen happening. Alright, so we apparently have a little issue with this version of Ubuntu, but uh, let's see, the workaround I found is logging in at the terminal, 
which you can access a terminal by pressing Control Alt and one of the function keys. I use Control Alt F2 and I logged in. And then I will jump to Control Alt F1. And it's worked before. And we should pop up with a GNOME session here momentarily. Now, this isn't an ideal situation by any stretch of the imagination, but this is pre release software, and as such, you should expect some rough edges. Oh, -ho! check that out. Okay, so what did I do? I'll show you here on another VM. So what I ended up having to do for the Disco Dingo desktop is under display, I reverted back to VM SVGA. So I had that set up originally and then It was locking up on me, so I changed it to the old setting, the VB SVGA, Virtual Box SVGA. And as you can see, it was giving me problems, so we switched back, and lo and behold, it decides to work. Lots of hoops were jumping through, but we've made it to the desktop. So. We've got Firefox, Thunderbird, we've got our file manager, which seems to be Nautilus. We'll go ahead and inject the uh, uh, guest editions disk. We've got Rhythmbox, LibreOffice Writer, which looks like it looks everywhere else. And that is currently at version 6.1.4.2 6.2 is the current version we've also got we'll get rid of this we've also got the ubuntu software store which we're up to date and it's again broken down into the sections or categories like we've seen before i don't see a way to differentiate between stuff being installed by debian packages versus things being installed with snap packages so just for the sake of argument we'll just pick something and we'll do flow blade which is a video editor and we'll see what we can do with this once we get it installed. While we're waiting, we can show all of our applications. And again, that divides it up between frequent and all. Shot well actually was installed, pre installed for video editing. Uh, there's a little Mahjong game. And. So yeah, that's almost ready for us. Nothing that is so new that it's completely unrecognizable. Even the settings has not really changed all that much. I will say, honestly, I think there are better backgrounds included with Ubuntu these days than what are included with the commercial operating systems out there. We'll close that and close this and we'll try out Flowblade and see how that comes up. Workflow first run wizard. This is Flowblade 2.0. Standard has movie tool as default tool. Film style 
has the insert tool. Let's do standard. So this is similar to say an iMovie. It does default to DVD PAL. We should be able to change in our preferences somewhere around here since we're in the US and not using PAL video modes. Anyways, and there we go, default profile. We want NTSC. I'll save for crash recovery every one minute. That is a great feature. Editing, playback, view, performance. Okay. Restart required. Okay. So we'll reopen Flowblade and splash screen. DVD NTSC 720 by 480. So this appears to be okay. HD 1080. Let's try for 30 frames per second. 30 frames per second. That's better. Okay, so final thoughts on this. This is Disco Dingo Desktop. This is a pre-release version leading up to Ubuntu 19.04. We have experienced in a virtual machine a few rough edges. However, if you're an Ubuntu user and you have enough RAM and want to check this out in a virtual machine, I say go for it. This does seem to be uh, a very clean release as far as visual aspects go. Once we got through the little hurdles of getting the guest editions installed and updates, everything seems to be going fairly smooth. However, you know, make sure you test things out before you go jumping right into it in April. Myself, I will probably stick with the LTS versions. I have had very good luck doing so. With more effort being put behind snap packages, it's not quite as necessary to update to each release between your LTS versions if you're running it for a home system or if you're running it on any non-mission critical system. For stability and ease of maintenance and ease of recovery, I just tend to stick with the LTS versions and that has served me very well over the last several years. Final thoughts, the price is right, test it out, play with it, have some fun, test out software you wouldn't test out normally, wait until the final release in April before you install it as your primary OS if that's something you normally do. On that note, I'm going to cut this video off here. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe and click the bell for more notifications. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.